Hello, my name's Craig Barton, and welcome to a series of videos helping you make the most out of my website, diagnosticquestions.com. Now in this video, we're gonna look at setting up your school, inviting teachers, and importing all your students to the website so that you can then set them quizzes and analyze all their data. Now the first thing you're gonna to need to do is make sure you yourself are registered on the website if you're not already, and then click on the school tab and click school first. Now, somebody at your school may already have set up your school. And if that's the case, you just wanna have a little check, click on search for an existing school, type in the first few letters of your school's name, see if it's there. And if it is, you can click um, apply to join that school. If it's not there, you need to set one up yourself and it's dead, dead simple. Just simply click on create a new school, type in your address, your postcode and all that so that we've got data on location um, and then you're good to go. Your next thing you might want to do is add teachers to your uh, to your school. Now, the easiest way to do this is to click on this Add Teachers tab or simply click on uh, Teachers at the top, whichever way you prefer. And you'll see that in my school, I've already got a couple of teachers that have been added. If I want to uh, create a new teacher, I can. Or probably the easiest way I find is simply to invite teachers because this just gives me a link that I can copy. And if I email that link to them, to their perhaps to their school address, they can simply click on it um, and they will be then um, a member of my school. So dead, dead simple. Uh, what I should say as well is if you're the first one to set up a school, you by default are the administrator. So you get to decide whether to, uh, membership status for schools is confirmed or whether it's denied. So just keep an eye on that. And teachers will not be allowed to join your school until you've confirmed their membership. So once you've done that, the next most obvious thing to do is to set up your students. Now, you can do this via classes, but I find the most uh, the easiest way to do it is to go via the students tab and to import them. So I've, I've done a load of my students already, but I'm just going to uh, show you how to import um, a, a class or a year group. OK, so I'm going to go to uh, import students. And what I can do if I want, if I've got my students in kind of text format, is I can just type them in uh, just there, perhaps uh, singly or, or a load at a time. But I find that most schools have their students' data stored on perhaps an Excel spreadsheet, perhaps for data collection. Uh, so that's maybe the easiest way to do it. So what we've done is we've created um, a little template for you. And if you click that, uh, you get a lovely little Excel spreadsheet, which I'll show you. And all you need to do in that Excel spreadsheet, well, let's, let's have a look at it here. It's very, very simple. It just has first name, last name, class code, um, or in other name, uh, other words, the class. Um, email address of the students if you want, although you don't need to give any of these. You don't need to give gender. You don't need to give username. You don't need to give password. The most important thing are your first name, your last name, and I would say your class code as well. So that is the kind of template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, find a spreadsheet of my some of our year 12s, and I'm going to import them in there. Now, it needs first name first, so let's just grab these first names and copy, there's only 15 students here. Um, and let's put those into there under first name. Now let's get their surname. Um, and you can do this for an entire year group if you want at once, or you could do it for an entire school, but I always find it easy if you just take it one, one step at a time and just check everything's working uh, instead of trying to do it all, all at once. Let's put our last name in and finally the class code. So we have some funny name, ways of naming our uh, classes at our school. We, we go for year group and then kind of teacher initials after it. So these are 12C, CL and uh, SZC for our teachers. And if we put the class code in there, and I'm not going to bother with uh, with anything else there. I'm not going to bother with email or gender because students can fill those out later themselves. Uh, do I want to save that using CSV format? Yes, I do. Just click yes to that and you're fine. And that's it. Good to go. So now I've just got to find that file. So I'm going to click on choose file. And hopefully if uh, I've done this right, I've saved it on my desktop. So let's find it there. There it is. Students. Uh, open that and then just click on preview and this gives you a chance to check that everything's looking right so it's told me there that I've got one class code so that seems about right if you've got more than one class on there it'll give you the two or three class codes that you've got I've got my first name and my last name and my students no gender specified no email all in the same class that's looking good and then click import and it tells you it might take a couple of minutes to upload your students if you've just got not many classes not many students like that then it's going to be very quick and that's it done and dusted if I try to find this class now, filter by class, you'll see we've got all our classes on there. There's the new one at the bottom. If I click on that, 
I've got all my students first names last names that and their password and their username so all you need to do then is make sure students know their username and students know their password perhaps print this out or project it on the board and then your students can log into the website and access any quizzes that you may well have set them and if you want to know about how to set quizzes or create questions or anything like that, I've done a load of how-to videos in this series. If you just click on the link at the bottom um, in the YouTube description, you'll be able to access them all. Take care and bye for now.